Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Diving Squid YouTube channel. This is the second episode in the 2D platformer controller series, and in this episode we're going to get our player animated by adding animation transitions. In the last episode we got him running and jumping, so check that out if you haven't already. I'm in the scene we created last episode, where our player can already run and jump. Since the last episode I've added our idle run and jump sprite sheets. If you'd like a separate tutorial on how to make animation sprite sheets and add them into Unity, let me know in the comments below. So to start the tutorial, I'm going to go to Window, Animation, and then select the Animation window. And I'm going to drag the panel into a better position. Then I'll select my player game object and then hit Create to make a new animation. I'm going to name this animation Idle. And then I'm going to drag my three idle sprites from my idle sprite sheet into the panel. I'm going to adjust the sample size, so lowering it will make your animation play slower and increasing it will make your animation play faster. I'm going to drag this to the side and then hit play to preview the animation and I like it at that speed so I'm going to leave it at that, but you can adjust it how you need it. I'm going to drag it back and then create a new clip. I'm going to call this one run and do the exact same, dragging my run sprites into the window. I'm going to adjust the sample speed again and then drag it to the side and preview it. And when you're happy with how your animation looks, go on and do the exact same with your jump animation, dragging your jump sprites into the a new animation clip and adjust the sample speed to how you like it. Once you've made all your animations for your player, if you hit play, you'll notice that your player only plays its idle animation even when you're running and jumping. That's because we haven't made the animation transitions yet. So for this, you want to go to the animator window, and if you don't have this open, you can find it in the window animation tab, and you'll notice that we have no transitions between idle, run, and jump. So I'm gonna left click to make a transition and make one between idle and run, and then run to idle. I'm gonna uncheck has exit time and set the transition duration to zero on both of our transitions. Next I'm going to make a new parameter as a bool and I'm going to name this is moving. I'm going to leave this box unchecked and then on our two transitions that we just made I'm going to add our new parameter to the conditions list. From idle to run you want to leave it as true but from run to idle you want to set it to false so when our player stops moving he resumes his idle animation. I'm going to save this and then I'm going to create a new C sharp script called anim controller and I'm going to open it up inside of Visual Studio. We want to start by getting our animator component by typing private animator and I'm going to call mine anim. And then inside our start function you want to type anim equals get component animator and this will get our animator component from our player object. Then we're going to create an update function and inside our update function we're going to create some if statements to get our player transitioning from idle to run and back again. We want our player character to transition to his run animation when the user presses the A or D key which is the key that gets our player moving. To do this we're going to use an if statement and inside the if statement type input.getKey keycode A or input.getKey keycode D and this will run when our user presses the key to get the player to move. Inside the if statement we're going to type anim.setbool and then the exact name of your bool parameter that you made. Mine is is moving. And then we want to set this to true because our player will be moving. And then we want to create an else and type the exact same thing, anim.setBool, and then whatever you called your bool parameter mine is, is moving, but set it to false so that our player transitions back to our idle animation afterwards. If we hit play in Unity, you'll see that our player is now transitioning from run to idle and back again. Now to get the jump working. First of all, you want to uncheck loop time on the jump animation, and then inside the animator window, you want to create a transition from any state to jump, so our player can play his jump animation anytime he wants to jump. And then we're going to make the jump animation transition to idle and run so he can resume either state. 
On the any state to jump transition, we're going to create a new parameter, but this time it's going to be a trigger and it's going to be called jumping. You can call it whatever you want. I'm going to add this to our conditions list for the any state to jump transition and select make sure you select the right parameter. From our jump to idle, we're going to set is moving to false and from our jump to run we're going to set is moving to true. This will get our player transitioning back to the right animation once he's finished jumping. To make it more snappy I'm going to set exit time to 1 so that it plays the full animation and do the same for our jump to idle transition. For our any state to jump transition I'm going to set the transition duration to 0 and uncheck has exit time. Back in our C sharp script anim controller I'm going to create a new if statement inside the update saying if input dot get key down key code space note the key code down because we want it to happen as soon as our player presses the space bar inside this if statement we're going to type anim dot set trigger jumping and this will trigger our jump parameter if you save this and go back into unity and hit play you'll notice that our player now plays his jump animation and resumes his idle or run state afterwards that's the end of the second episode of the 2D Platformer Controller series. I hope you enjoyed and your animation transitions work. If you have any problems, don't forget to comment below and I'll try and help as best as I can. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video if it helped you out. And I also have a Patreon now, so if you'd like to support me over there, the link will be in the description. Thanks for watching, guys.